property. Okay, so this is the pre-trip checklist. I also have a post-trip checklist that changes a few things, you know, add cleaning and all that stuff. But the first thing you're going to do... Where can we find these checklists? They should be up at the front. There's a little clip at the front. This is where I keep them, but... They might move. I don't know. You should keep them other places, I guess. We'll figure, we'll figure that out later. Um, I mentioned that there is a work, standard work binder notebook. I haven't made that yet, but when it becomes available or when it becomes necessary to make, I will provide that. First thing you want to do to get the Winnebago ready to go on a trip is come over here at the door. There's this switch. This is a very important switch. is the auxiliary battery switch. If you want anything to work inside, you have to turn this on. When it turns off, it makes a little beep sound. Okay, so turn it on. Then you come over here and you check your levels. Check your battery, your propane tank, your fresh water, gray water, and your black water. Uh, battery lets you run the lights and the TV and the radio and anything electrical obviously but things that will not work on battery without being plugged in are the microwave, the refrigerator and the air conditioner. You have to be plugged in for that. Which is a good note right now. It, when you're on a trip um, unless you plug in to power power you're not going to get AC so like right now it's pretty hot because <laughs> we have it off you're gonna have to keep it on pretty much blast the AC the whole time I actually checked there's no fuse for that so they didn't even there's no way I tried looking for controls everywhere we'll edit this out I tried looking everywhere for a control to turn this on while we're driving or something but it, this a, the AC will not turn on if it's not plugged in. Okay, so propane powers your stove. It can also power your uh, your refrigerator. So it'll turn on. It'll say gas check. This will start flashing because the gas is not turned on. I think it's start trying to light the. Yeah. You hear that clicking? So once it tries it for a few seconds, it'll start flashing. So if it's flashing, that means you need to check your gas valve, and we'll go to that in a second. So um, your gas also operates your hot water heater, and we'll cover that later. Your gray water is basically your sinks uh, and your shower at two, I think, and your black water is your toilet. Okay. So when you want to go on a trip, these should already be, these should be empty. And this should be full, and this should be full, and this should be full. Should be, if the post-trip checklist was followed correctly. <laughs> um, fresh water, you can just, we'll, we'll go look at how to fill that up. So let's, let's, let's just go through if, if everything is not right. Oh, another thing you should check is your gas. Make sure you're full of gas. Diesel. Yes, diesel. So let's go. Let's go see how we can fill everything up. Okay. The diesel. Fill it right here. Uh, it it specifies that only wants ultra low sulfur diesel, which is normal, but there are some places that are not. That kind of diesel. Um, okay, the next thing on the list actually is tire pressure. Um, I try to check that, and one of those tools is a tire gauge that goes up to 80 psi or something like that. Uh, these shouldn't be that high, but that's the little stick ones don't go that high, so you need a digital one probably. Okay, I say check the check the tire tread. Um, house battery that's charged with 
the engine running and with the power. Uh, propane. Nope, is, this a, is this a dual? These are this dual. is a dual. These are, these are dual. Yeah. Oh, so uh, yeah. If you want to fill up the tire pressure, you got there's, two. there's two. There's two. So the long, the long one is the back. Is the inside tire? Uh. But I would guess. I don't know. It's I don't. It's not too important though. But make them make sure they're both the same. Oh, if you want to use the tire pressure level, should be 63 psi for. Trust the Germans to make it. For the front, number. this is the front 63 psi, rear 61 psi. Okay. So for propane, this is where your propane is. Propane tank right behind the driver's side. So this is your fill cap. Uh, and this is your valve. So if you want to turn the gas on, you turn that on. Okay, How much do you turn it? You don't have to turn a lot, just maybe a half turn. That's all I ever did. Maybe a half turn? A yeah. half turn? A half turn. Okay, half turn. Half turn. Um, you can fill these up at... Um, there's a place down on Louisville, like you take a left out of our neighborhood, it's right, it's like right there. I haven't done it yet though. Okay, that really goes to nothing. I never use this. It's like, it shows, uh, when we take out the slide, this is like a, a linkage, like a mechanism for that. But I never had to do it there. Okay, so this is where we can look at our fresh water and our black water and our gray water, all the water. And this is also where your power is. So when you back up at a campsite, they're going to have it all here on the left side, on the driver's side. So here's your power cord. Okay. Uh, I have this adapter if you want to try it on, the, on a house with the house power. But I, when I plug this into our house, it tripped the breaker. And so we were never able to get the refrigerator running. But one thing you should try to do is get the refrigerator cold. So if you have food at the start of the trip, you can, do, you can just put it in a cold refrigerator. But we were not able to get that working for us. Okay. Here is your black water pipe. So when you... Well, let's, let's do that later. So pre-check is, this should be empty. I would not pull any of these r right now. <laughs> uh, but uh, when you get to a campsite, you would, should I do that later? Should I do that now or later? I can do it now. Sure. Okay. Because we're kind of mixing in with the pre-trip. Oh, right, right. Okay. Um, to fill your water, you just take this, hook it up to a uh, garden hose, and make sure it's on tank fill, this valve. Okay, and then when you're done, you just turn it back to normal. And, and does, it, does it just stop running when it's full, or what happens? Um, when when the tank is full, it'll start leaking out the side. Like there's a, <laughs> there's a bypass tube, like a fill tube, that will basically just let excess fall out. Okay. Okay, there's a there's a there's a switch for your water pump out here because they also have a hose. So if you wanted to So if you have dirty feet or washing off anything, you can do it out here. And you would flip that switch for water pump? Yeah, you need the water pump on. I don't want to do it because the power's on, so it'll actually start running. Uh, and then you can turn the cold or hot on. Okay. So let's, let's keep walking around. I'll come back to this when we get to the campsite. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let's look at it. If this is the first trip of the year and we've winterized, uh, then to be winterized, you come over here. Okay. So this is where normally you're... Okay. This is an emergency tire pressure, like a tire pump. So... It plugs into the battery directly, has little clamps, and then it's got two uh, air things, 
air hoses. Anyway, that's for emergencies. This is for at a campsite. I'll show you what this is. And these are 11 blocks. Um, they say you should be as level as possible. We never had to use them because the sites were pretty good. So. But, uh, that's what these are for. And this is extra engine oil because this this Winnebago burns oil every 600 miles. It burns a quart every 600 miles. About. So, need that. So. Alright. So. This is your water pump. I install, this is a filter to filter out your particulate that might be in the fresh water. So these valves are your bypass valves for winterizing and you would actually hook this up to like you would hook it up you would screw it into um, some kind of like antifreeze basically mm -hmm. and then pump this into the system you drain all the fresh water out and just pump this into the system so it's in all the lines everywhere mm -hmm. actually what what uh how they winterized it before was they just um, they just blew air into the system. They just used an air compressor and blew out the air. That's all they did. Um, so if it's winterized, you would turn. See, there's a bypass valve right here, um, and this one. So in order to get everything to work normal, it should be like this. You're saying to get it when you're not you're not filling it with antifreeze or right whatever. right this is how it was when we were winterizing yeah when it was winterized so this this opens up yeah. this tube for right. the uh, antifreeze right. and this is i think it's by if i remember right it's bypassing the heater yeah so mm -hmm. this You're right so this so takes it there so this allows water to go to the heater and this turns off the water to the heater okay okay but, so that's the way it'll be when you're That's the way it should be when, when you want running. to use it. Use it the first time in, of the year when, it, when it's at a winterized state and you want to dewinterize it. Oh. So when you want to dewinterize it, you switch it here, and this is how it should be while you're using it throughout the year. Right. When you winterize it, you switch it to this. Right, right. Okay. So. All right. But for the majority of us, when we take the vehicle if it's already been used for the year. Then you don't, you don't worry, about to worry about it. I'm just showing you. Yeah. Pre pre trip check. Right. All um, stuff goes back in there. Yes. Um Oops, no, I, I know this one I know this one goes there. I remember that. <laughs> and let's see, I know where this goes. Um how am I doing so far today? So far so good. So I have some IO checks. Some um, so make sure there's no engine lights. Oh, is it because it's wide angle? Make, also make sure there's no engine lights on uh, before you start off. Make sure the water pump is off. Make sure all the faucets, the showers off. Make sure the uh, hot water heater. If you want it, if it's a short trip, you can turn it on. But I would turn it on maybe 30 minutes before you get there, or just wait until you're plugged in. It doesn't take 20 minutes, 30 minutes to heat up the water. Are we going to learn the mystery of this? Yes, we will in a minute. You can turn on your auxiliary house battery when you start going, because then the kids can have lights or whatever. That's the bl little black switch. The little black yeah. switch right there. Uh, and is that obviously, running out? Is that running out off the vehicle battery, or it's running off this battery? It's running off the house battery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Here's the generator. You should make, I mean, don't turn this on unless you need it. So it should already be off. Um, stove should be off. Why would you need this? This is to provide, supposed to provide 120 volt power, wireless, you know, not tethered to anything. So it runs on the propane. The problem is I've never been able to get it to 
I've never get, been able to get it to run the AC or the refrigerator reliably, or it doesn't even turn on the microwave. So I'm not really sure. I, I, we, we've never used it. It should be good for when you're like if, when you're not going to go to a campsite and you want some AC or something. Yeah. Turn that on. But you could try it and see if it works. Maybe we could try it right now after we're done with all this video stuff. Okay. And we can update the video. Okay, this is just a storage area. Oh, So the gray key unlocks most of the things. Most of these. Some of them just don't unlock. There's a storage bin. But there's a hole here, and there's a drain plug there, so it's, it's not really a cool thing. It's just... Yeah. That's if you catch a lot of fish. Right. Yes. Uh, this is actually an outdoor entrance to the... I'm kind of giving you a walk around at the same time. This is an a outdoor door to underneath your... The plumbing? No, no, it's, no. it's just a compartment and it's underneath your your table seat right here you can get to it inside right. or outside okay another thing where you keep your umbrella this is we'll come back to this too this is your this is your hot water heater so you'll have to pull that to let water out that's what I've done and we'll, we'll go through that process to how to turn on the hot water heater in a minute what did you pull out? It's like a drain oh, yeah. valve. It's like a, a normal hot water heater. It has yeah. one of those. Yeah. I don't. I, I always. I saw in the instructions or somewhere to pull that. Uh, so I just do it every time, just to make sure there's water in the hot water heater. I guess that's the purpose. Okay. Um, I think we're basically done with the pre checklist. Besides, making sure you have all of your stuff.